welcome back. Okay, person on your mind the most, what they'd like to say to you. I'm just going to use this little deck today. Right, finding out the truth crushed me. Okay, you speak to me through music. So someone's listening to some tunes um, that you used to listen to. So many things remind me of you. Okay, there's some truth here that, well, a truth is um, probably a very fluid word, I think, today. There's something that they found out that they believed, let's put it that way, to be true, that crushed them. So that's really what I'm going to go for today. Just see if we can find out what that was about. Um, but they do miss you, okay? I feel energetically, ooh, energetically today. There's a very strong bond, but there's no words being spoken. It's almost as if... It's just radio silence here, okay? It's like you're both sitting, thinking about each other, talking to each other in your heads, but not actually physically in the 3D. So let's just give these a quick shuffle. Like I said, I hope you're all well, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. If you'd like um, a reading, if you just click on the title, it's all in the description box and also the free relationship report and again thank you so much for all your support your likes your comments um and all of it thank you and if you're new here if you want to watch me again just click that bell thing right okay yeah clarifying finding out the truth crushed me is the card time to say goodbye um i think they got the wrong day, wrong end of the stick here with something Okay, and I don't think it was anything to do with you. I think it was a wound that they were projecting out onto you. Okay, so I feel that they had insecurities and they've had things they'd buried deep because if they, if they acknowledged their securities, I don't think this would have happened. Okay, I think this is somebody who just projected something out to you. Okay, they got the wrong end of the stick or there is a possibility that you did something or said something which was out of character for you but this person pushed you okay because the reason I'm getting that they pushed you they emotionally shut down it became almost a case of unrequited love that you were giving and giving and giving doing and doing and doing and doing and this person was just pushing you away okay because they didn't want to deal with some pain they had. So instead of dealing with their pain, they decided to push you away. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel you did something or something happened. They got the wrong end of the story and pushed you away. Okay. They would like to take a step forward. All right. At the moment, I'm getting this is just in their head though. So I will see if they're actually going to do anything in the physical here. Why are they reminded of you? That's what I want to so just have a look at. Why are they reminded, please? What's going on? Yeah, this person loves you, King of Cups. Okay, they love you, but I think what they're reminded of here really is, is how much love you gave to them. You were stable, if this is your reading today, you could actually be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But you gave them love. You were stable. You were kind. I feel, you know something, that you turned a blind eye to a lot of stuff here. It could just have been something as simple as that they were a little bit childish at times. Or, you know, you really, really turned a blind eye. I think you got a little bit sick of mothering someone, okay? Doesn't matter if you're male or female. The energy of, of mothering somebody. <clears throat> so for a long time, you turned a blind eye. Um, they could at times have been a little emotional stable. I feel you, you understood and you were really cool about it. But I really do feel today, so please, if this isn't your reading, it's not yours. Somebody here watching this today had just had enough okay and I feel that you had put up with so much you've been so kind so good so stable you kept this relationship on an emotional keel not your person and I think there was something they did 
previously. I don't think it was, I think the final straw for you was not the final straw. I think what happened was something they'd done maybe a few years before, or you know, a few months or whatever. You, you literally had your say. Okay, you, you had your say. So, your person, this is what I feel has happened here. Your person had a subconscious belief in their own head, in their own heart, in their own soul, <clears throat> that everybody pushes them away. This will go back to their childhood, okay? It always does with all of us. They had this belief, and it's almost as if they were self-sabotaging. So they would push and push and push and push, so that in the end, you did something, so then they could turn around and say, I knew this was going to happen, you've crushed me. Okay, that's what happened here. It's really straightforward energy today. Very, very, for me today, sometimes if you watch me regularly, you'll know, I'll say, oh God, this is messy. This isn't, this isn't messy. Your person could have had a, um, a father wound, okay, in some shape or form. But they sabotaged and they would always sabotage, okay? It doesn't matter. This is not your fault, okay? They were always going to do this, I'm hearing. They were always at some point. It could have been at years, but at some point this person was always going to push back. But blame you for it so that then they can almost feed that wound. And by that I mean they would feed the wound inside to justify that wound and say, yeah, this is what always happens. Because the subconscious just runs on autopilot. You know, the subconscious will literally do whatever, you know, the predominant thoughts are. So that's what's happened here. Let's see what they're going to do, though. Let me just get a couple of these cards out. And then I'm going to see if they're going to do anything. So listening to music, okay, so if you've got any songs or you might be seeing signs um, of a song that you used to listen to that you've not heard for ages, something like that. You triggered me, that's it. I knew this reading was straightforward today. You triggered them and that was the trigger. That's what this has been about, all of it. It's almost... It's like people do that. I think we all we, we all do it to attend. Sometimes do it. I know I've done it where, you know, I've had a belief and I've thought, are oh, they going to do that? <clears throat> they're going to do that. And then um, I might do something, then that person would do. And then I'd say, oh, yeah, you've done that. You know, that's what it is. You triggered them. Definitely a wound from childhood. Could be a father wound. Um, they might not have had an amazing childhood or they got a father that was absent or a very strict father that, you know, they were never good enough for, all right? They were never good enough for. Bottom of the deck, don't wait for me, please. Top of the deck, why do I feel this way? So their energy is mixed up. You know, I don't feel, honestly, today... I really don't feel this, I feel this person misses you, I feel they love you, but I don't feel they've completely healed, okay? Because they're sort of like in two energies, so don't wait for me, they're still hanging on to whatever truth or whatever went down here <clears throat> with you, okay? Whatever happened, they're still sort of holding on to that. But then on the other hand, they're, they're missing you. They're listening to music. They're probably going through all photos. <clears throat> Everywhere they go, there's something that reminds them of you. You're in this person's head. I feel they're thinking about you every single day, but doing nothing, okay? Until they realize that they need to heal, their energy's bouncing, okay? Because... They, they need to do, I think they need to do a little bit of work on themselves. Let's just see what this deck wants to say about this. Yeah, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, you see, that's what this needs. I feel that this is not a particularly toxic, toxic connection you had, okay? Um, 
but this card is saying for this to to rebuild for you to sort of get together and bring it back onto a good standing you've honestly got to discuss each other you've got to discuss feelings with each other all right but this person you know with this card even just looking at the image it's almost like they said goodbye but they didn't want to but they just sneaked off in some shape or form okay yeah someone needs to clearly decide what they want here as well because that's another thing about this you know someone needs to make their mind up and change the story but i feel it's your person that needs to change the story okay they need to change the story within them today you on the other hand are optimistic about something in your love life <clears throat> I think you're manifesting something in with some positive thinking here, okay? You're going to attract something else in. And there's going to be a strong magnetic connection with somebody else, okay? Let's just put the past on the back burner for a second, everyone. Um, let me just see what this is about. For somebody here who this reading's for, you are staying optimistic. You're being more positive, putting yourself first, as I always say you know, realising why anybody, you know, pe people are actually uh, privileged to have the experience of being in your presence. That's what I'm hearing to say to you today. And for those of you who are working on that, it's paying off. Because you're going to meet someone, there's going to be a really big chemistry. I just get my Lenormand cards. For some of you, you're moving on from this past person to find your own stability, your own security and your own success. I feel for some of you, as a side note, what you're doing is you're attracting in more money. You could be working on business or you could be working on your career as well. If you are, that's going to go well. You want your own freedom to make your own choices, okay? I think this person... You felt very wrapped up in their problems. All right, you, you got sick of the competitiveness and the arguments, I think, with your past person. Okay? So you're moving almost away from that. Yeah, you've, someone's focusing here today on career. But more than that, you're focusing on what's in it for me now. You've got to that stage in life and you're like, okay, you know, what's in it for me? This is my journey. It, just hearing those words, you know, you're the director of, of your own life now, okay? I think you're just being selfish, but you're not being selfish, and that's the thing, you're not. Putting your own needs first, and not want to be in a repetitive pull-push cycle with someone who doesn't want to do their own healing. You have to be your own person, but quite often once you start to heal yourself because you change the story of that past relationship, that triggers the other person to heal as well. Right, okay, so that was the past in the Normand. Let's have a look at these three. Yeah, definitely, definitely, you've got your wits about you. Going back to your career, there's going to be a change in that. You could be relocating for work. Somebody could be relocating for work. Or if you are retired, you could be relocating anyway. You could be deciding to downsize or to go somewhere totally different where everything is just new. All right. For those of you who are manifesting something in and there is this new love, I see it's going to be somebody who is older than you. OK, it's going to be someone who's quite chatty, quite sociable. Um, you might meet them online. Or a dating app with this card okay they've got quite a restless energy uh, not in a bad way not in a bad way I feel this person is quite bubbly they like to do things they're chatty they like to go out they like to be places and they like to talk but I do see you talking online with someone okay that's going to bring in a change for some of you this change might seem messy, not in a bad way, but messy in the fact that it's going to be quite a 
big change. I can see a relocation for some of you. <clears throat> okay, I can see a relocation. Um, for some of you, it's even across water. Big relocation here. But this new person is chatty, intelligent, and they might wear glasses as well. Glasses, older, intelligent, chatty, online, dating apps. Okay? Or the other thing I'm getting, they could be a friend of somebody's brother or sister. So quite specific. In fact, I'll get these out and see if we can find anything else out. Then I'm going to bob back in and just see what your past person's going to do. Yeah, dating. You're going to have opportunities to meet people. Okay, but this one, this one person, I feel you could be talking to a few in the end, okay? You could be talking to a few, but this one person is going to be a magnetic pull towards. And this is the one that's older, wise, quite sociable, all right? Anything else, please? Yeah, this person is going to possibly have their own business as well. It's possibly why that card's coming out. Going to have their own business. I feel the new person could be an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay, yeah, they're going to be professional. You could even have a connection here with some work. There's a possibility here for some of you if you go to a conference. Or you could meet somebody that's in the same field as you even if you work online, okay? But this person is, I would say, a boss person. They're good at what they do, all right? They don't have to be mega loaded or mega rich, but they are very competent in their field, but they're very chatty. They're very chatty, they're quick. Um, I could say, I am getting an air sign. Could be sun, moon, or rising, so, that is for those of you who are staying optimistic, who are feeling that, you know what, I'm worth so much more. I'm worth this and I know my own worth now. Because the problem is, you know, through life, people just tend to knock it out of us. You know, we go into relationships and we feel that other people's opinions are right and then we take this in and, you know, you, you've realised now your worth. You realise your worth. So, but it's more than one opportunity, more than one. But you're going to choose the one that I've described today. Okay, let's see if your past person's going to do anything. Are they going to come in at any point, or is this energy just stuck? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I feel eventually. They will do. It could be, it could be during the summer months. I'm hearing August here. I don't always do timings, but I'm hearing August. I think what's happening with your person, there's a tug and tussle still. Okay, their attention is everywhere at the moment. They've got their attention on other matters, possibly financial matters. Okay, they're being pulled in quite a lot of different directions. Um, they're still at the moment, as of today, when you see this video, they are still stuck in a little egotistical, my way or the highway, this is my vision, you know, a little bit hot tempered, a little bit selfish, okay? Um, but that's going to end. Wherever they are, whatever they're doing, I do feel it's going to come to an end. It's a slow burning end though. Uh, it, I feel in their energy where they are, it's fraying. By that I mean it's slowly, bit by bit, coming to an end. But it's not going to end quickly. I feel they are going to bounce around a little bit. Their attention's here, their attention's there. Could be financial. They could be weighing up the situation of where they are now due to financial considerations. But I do see that coming to an end with the death card. And I do see eventually they will come forward with a message, Page of Cups, okay? I don't think it will be a massive message. I think they'll be quite nervous, not quite knowing what to say to you, okay? Um, and I do feel it could be... And I just, I'm just hearing an anxious, emotional message, okay? It could be a little bit messy, 
but I do feel at some point they will they will come forward. I think at the moment what they're doing, they're bouncing between, like I said earlier, um, I'm not available, why do I feel like this? I feel the conversations they have, they possibly write messages for you and don't send them, okay? It's like work in progress with them at the moment, but I do also see them coming back in. Why? Why? I just have a feeling, you know, it's because they're going to see you having a glow up. Why? Yeah, they're going to see that you've moved on. Okay, they're going to try the look again. They do believe this connection's fated with you. They do, they, they believe it's fated. Okay, your person has a very, very strong, almost supernatural bond with you. Okay, but I feel the reason they're going to break, I feel the reason they're going to break free and um, it's going to give them the final push is that they will see that you've gone into the energy almost of the wheel of fortune. Your, your time's coming. You've got some good luck coming to you. Okay, things have been stuck for you. Things have been stuck for you. Okay, but that is changing and I feel that will trigger them. All right, I feel that will trigger them. Let's just get one advice card for you, please. Be the real you. Wow, that's it. Be selfish. You know, your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. In the past, I don't think you did always express yourself. Going back to what I was saying right back earlier in the reading, I think that you were the calm amongst the storm and it triggered you. It, this triggered you in the past with this person. Okay, just be you. Just be you, okay. You know, no, I think is one of the most important words in a relationship. Now I'm older, I think the word no, it's not that you don't like the person, it's not that you have any particular things, you just don't want to do it. And that's enough. I don't want to do it, I'm not doing it. Just be you. You know, and, and if somebody doesn't love you enough for the person you truly are, then you will attract something else in who is the right mould for you. So, beautiful. I shall leave that with you, okay? Take good care and just be you. All right, I think that's the mantra for today. Just be the real you all the time, unapologetically. I don't care. Just be you. Love you all. Bye.